Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix no camera option in Snapchat settings on iPhone. So if you open your Snapchat application and you are getting this error message, and when you click on open settings, there's no camera option in your settings, let me show you a few different things you can do to fix this issue. So most of the time, the problem is with your Snapchat application. So what you have to do is long click on the app, click on remove app, and you need to delete the app from your iphone once you delete the app restart your iphone so turn off your iphone and turn it back on once you turn on your iphone head over to your app store and you need to re-download the snapchat application once you download it check your settings again and see if the camera option is going to show so if you try this and it's still not working let me show you another thing you can do so the another thing you can do is to update your iphone so update the software of your iPhone. This can also be the issue. So go to your settings and you need to scroll down to general. Once you click on it, click on software update and you need to check if there's any new update for your iPhone. So if there's any available update, update it and see if that can fix the issue also. So another thing you need to check is if camera is enabled on your iPhone. So if you have disabled the camera of your iPhone, it is not going to show in the settings of any app. So just open your settings again and you need to scroll down to screen time. If you are using iOS 17, you are going to see it right here. But on iOS 18, they have moved it to the bottom. Once you click on screen time, scroll down to content and privacy restrictions. So let me turn it on. So click on allowed apps and features and make sure your camera is enabled. So if your camera is disabled, it is not going to work for any app, including Snapchat. So turn it on like this, or just turn off content and privacy restriction. So just try all these things I mentioned and see if it is going to work for you. So if any of them doesn't work for you, you will have to, rest sorry, you will have to format your iPhone. So that's the last thing you can do. Just format your iPhone. And once you format it, just restart it like a new device and it is going to work. If you found this video helpful, smash the like button and subscribe.